Hi everybody, hope you're doing great. I'm doing a 30 minute session for a client. I'm gonna be sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. Okay, so you've shared a lot here in the goals about your relationship with your voice and being more of a listener than a speaker, wanting to work on speaking up, even having some memories that have taught you that your voice isn't worth listening to. So I'm gonna read your goals here shortly. I appreciate all you've shared and very nice to meet you. Very nice to support you today. Thank you for sharing with us here on YouTube as well. I guarantee there's other people that'll watch this video that are gonna be familiar with what you're sharing. We're gonna learn a lot today. <laughs> so I'm gonna read your goals and then we're gonna get started. You say, hi Abby, I would like to work on speaking up. I'm used to keeping quiet being more of a listener than a speaker. I know I need to speak up more. I have memories where I was regularly shown that what I had to say didn't matter. This affected me in ways I don't want to be connected to anymore. I know there is a lot more going on here than just this. I would love your help, any healing and messages from the spirit realm for me. Why is this a part of my life learning? Thank you, Abby, your videos have really helped me in my life. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. This feels really vulnerable, you know? So reading your goals, very crisp, clear. I understand what you're expressing and trusting because it's all about speaking and voice. And when I read them, I just, it feels shaky and nervous. So we want to heal this for you, but also, so healing any messages from the spirit realm, why is this a part of your life learning? Okay, so we're just going to like throw it all in there and we're going to navigate it. We're going to learn some stuff and support you in your quest for speaking up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just getting in the zone here. I feel this like sense of nervousness. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I've just got to let this be. And so if that's your nervousness or maybe something your soul has had to endure in this lifetime, created some anxiety, maybe some other lifetime, I'm not sure. But I, I just feel like uncomfortable in my own skin. So I just got to go with that, okay? And continue to just relax the energy slowing the energy down. Just a basic beginning here, okay? Okay, who is ever going to stand up for you? I, I just, I see a person, they have no face. It's just like a black shadow. They're wearing a little hood here. It's kind of interesting. The hood is a, it's got a soft fabric and there's like a pale purple color to it. It doesn't necessarily represent female, it represents male. I also see there's a sort of, um, the camera is looking at the throat and then there's this black hole here, okay? faceless black hole here in the throat. I'm really intrigued by the cape, this hood cape, because it's pretty. And what is it? What is its use? It's very old fashioned looking, maybe fantasy uh, looking. But there's a sense that who is ever going to stand up for you. So you're going to have to find your voice. <laughs> Nobody's going to protect you. You're going to have to find your voice. Nobody's going to protect you. All right. All right. <laughs> Somehow there's like these hands are like moving through some type of energetic water. And it's like, for like, I don't know. It just keeps doing this. And there's a bit of agony in the heart. 
and a sense that I can't do it, I can't protect my own voice, or I can't, <sighs> I can't do it. <laughs> Can somebody come and help me? Can somebody come protect me? It, it, it feels so, you're centered out. You're alone with a voice that isn't, seem to be um, creating the exchange of balance, give and take here. Um, here's what I got to say. Okay. Well, here's what I got to say. All right. Well, here's what I got to say. And so there is a give and take. I don't know if the word take is right, but it's a sharing of sorts. What's inside myself, then what's inside yourself. Well, we just go back and forth, but you're just in the center. And what is the balance of that exchange? Seems like you have to always be protecting your own voice, protecting yourself, your words, but you're not allowed to. It's almost like you're meant to be exposed and um, it's not like you're getting beat down. It's not like you're getting bashed into the ground. What is the true vulnerability here? Another part about this so far, I just feel like Oh, so many things are pressed together. Like we have the red Play-Doh and the yellow and the blue and the green. And each one of these Play-Dohs is a concept of the true value of a human life, okay? And maybe the true value of the quest of soul learning and the discovery of love, like passionate things that matter, all right? And we have these Play-Dohs and they bash, you know? And oh, the energy is just getting like, mm, but it's not breathing is like, uh, these muscles are really tight. I, so we're just going to work through it. Okay. Is that why I feel so nervous? Is it like too many things jammed together? Oh, too much responsibility in your court here to do it all with your voice? Um, it's still very unclear, and I want to get more specific with the different threads of information that are flowing through here so we can really understand you and your circumstance and how to make it better, okay? <sighs> All right. I'm just, you know what, you know what, okay, so this is a thing. A thing is, because I'm the one that's navigating this energy, I feel it. It's disorienting for me. I have to be, um, I have to be balanced. I have to translate it. Um, but if I am like <laughs> like this with it, then I have to feel it, and then I have to communicate. So I'm just gonna. The thing is, I'm just gonna be kind of weird, okay? Almost like maybe step one is just be kind of weird. Um, Maybe the words aren't going to come out or is it like perfectly as they come through your brain? Maybe it's not going to come out your mouth perfectly. I still feel like we haven't even skimmed the surface. It's very, it's too much um, upon too much upon too much. It's the concept of trying to read a thousand page book in a single word. It's like, but I don't know what it's saying. It's like, Play-Doh, a lot of stuff, okay? <sighs> Relax. <laughs> Relax. Relax. <sighs> One thing at a time. Man, if this is your throat chakra, it's all free and twisted up. It's all... <sighs> Relax, okay? <sighs> Maybe step number one is just be weird. And it's, it's like the opposite of perfect, which is probably normal, but here it's more like it's going to be weird. The opposite of perfect. Be that, okay? <laughs> and so then I will be that for you, for starters. <sighs> because I'm okay being me. And then you can be okay being you. And you can be okay being you however comes out your voice. And then I can be okay being me however comes out my voice. Is judgment a part of this? Because naturally, you know, this jammy introduction, it is strange. You know, why isn't it just flowing out of me in some perfect intelligence? 
Because the energy is like this. This is the truth of the way the energy is. So it is in its own right, its own representation of perfect intelligence. That's an important message for you. That as you are is your own representation of perfect intelligence. <laughs> now, what's the judgment on that? Because people can decide what perfect intelligence looks like and sounds like, and it's not you. And then how's that going to make you feel? When you're trying to speak up, when you're trying to have a voice, it's going to make you feel like, whatever. I'm just going to continue to be a good listener. I'm sick of trying to be my voice and it's just not translatable or it just comes out weird or whatever, okay? Because you're your own representation of intelligence. So, <clears throat> I still feel like some of this about communication, it's... It, I feel like my heart is beating way too fast. Like... I can't really catch my breath, so there could be anxiety involved in this. You to just speak and be you. So wh whose issue is it? Is it your issue? Is it the outside world's issue with you that you digested, then you're trying to counteract it so you're not an issue to the outside world? So is there judgment involved? I'm, I'm just going to say, I'm assuming yes, okay? <laughs> But it doesn't necessarily say yes or no to judgment. <laughs> so I'm making the conclusion myself. All right. Who's protecting you? That was one of the statements that was said. That nobody is protecting you. You need protection from what? Judgment? From your weird ways? Uh, your weird speaking voice or something? Oh man, I tell you right now, um, the Play-Doh is actually moving apart. My heart feels like it's not pounding out of my chest. I can breathe more. <sighs> but there's kind of just like oh, discomfort. And so when energy gets this, this sense of discomfort, it's like it just for some reason, it's like this place here with my hands. I'm just like, oh God, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like this. <sighs> okay. I am so proud of you for asking for help with this because we're making strides here, <laughs> okay? All right. You really needed to dive into this big time. And, you know, the fact that you could reach out and book the session, the fact that you could share it with others is you actually speaking, you sharing me getting an opportunity to share with you. It's all about communication and there must be a divine time here about it because you're seeking to work on this. It's in the material now. Um, you're taking steps. So you're already making progress. You know what I mean? <sighs> okay. I'm going to ask your guides for help, please, because... <sighs> okay, that's why. I feel like I'm overwhelmed by a thousand different pieces of information. I don't even know where to begin. So that tells me that your soul has a lot of experience with this whole theme and probably has been through a grinder and probably has been quite courageous and successful and it's all mixing in together across time and space. So you're more than just the present moment. You're all moments, all at, in the nucleus of yourself. So, so you've got to figure out who you are in this life when it comes to communication. Because you seem to be a jumbled up of success and failure, whatever. You know, that's how we usually evaluate it. Um, triumph triumphant um working with voice in tri a triumphant way working with voice in a defeated way um, all jumbled up together it also seems to be conflict between day-to-day -day human life your soul your identity <laughs> um, time in the present moment of memory of this life of other lifetimes. So there's like this cross section of so much content. 
um, no wonder it's probably easier to be a listener because you yourself are trying to listen to the path to balance here, which also is the solution, the speaking up is the path to balance. You yourself are identifying that. See, as I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking in your energy field. We're, we're examining all this together. And the more I tell you things, the more you yourself are processing it. I still feel like this is a beginning of sorts. Because <sighs> part of what you, you want to know is why. Like, why? I mean, we always want to know why. And if we don't get the answer... Is there something uh, missing then forever in our life? Sometimes, sometimes we really need the answer. <laughs> uh, so you seek to understand this. Um, you seek to acknowledge this has affected you. And you want to do it better. And so this is what we're working with so far. This is just all perception and clarity for you. A sort of answer to why without really defining it, why? Well, my gosh, you're here to, to harmonize a bunch of concepts of memory and self-expression. You're in a cross-section of sorts, and all you get is you because nobody's going to stand up for you. What the heck? <laughs> That's a lot. I mean... And judgment, I mean, it kind of, I don't know why the energy just fades when I say that word. Like, maybe I'm assuming it's judgment, but it's not. So what would it be? Like, where's your need to be silent then if it isn't associated with a sense of judgment of your language, of your weird starting point of speaking? <sighs> you know, is it, it's not, it doesn't say like, Yes, it's judgment. <laughs> it's just kind of gets silent. It's like it thins out. Okay, so tell me more. I'm like, I need some help knowing which which page do we start on here with all this? Okay, I'm just I, I, I get all this stuff. I said everything. Plato's starting to calm down. We've got sections. I don't know what they mean. I don't feel like I'm in a bunch, which means you're not so much in a bunch. Which means the heart palpitations, <laughs> relaxing, I can breathe, I can find my own voice, which means you can relax, breathe, and find your own voice, and we just get this weird starting point, okay? And this is my representation of my intelligence, okay? So you are your rep representation of your intelligence. Maybe that's because that's all there is to it. Judgment isn't real. Judgment, judgment doesn't exist. Because all you can be is your representation of your intelligence. So I'm adding judgment in there when judgment doesn't exist. That feels more correct. Okay? That is more the medicine that is for you. Catered for you. Because for you, it's about you being the voice of yourself, your intelligence, okay? Yeah, that feels better. My gosh, me saying that, because now I, I see the word why, 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 why. It's like, but why becomes less important when we understand this, this solid statement. Almost like gives you ground to stand on amidst all of this. There is no judgment. There's just you being your intelligence. There is no judgment. There's just you being you, your own representation of your intelligence, okay? Because that's all any of us are. That's all I am. That's all any of us are, okay? <sighs> okay. Man, this isn't just a throat chakra thing. This is like a whole head thing. This is third eye crown chakra. Your perception. Um, higher, it's like the higher mind that has access to outside-the-box thinking, but it also has to funnel into the third eye, which has to conceive of an abstract idea, so to speak, to try to turn it into something logical or creative um, within the boundaries of your own intelligence. So there's something about the intelligence that is a part of this message. So the intelligence and the throat, so, so communication with yourself 
self, okay? Communication with others. So throat, intelligence here, higher mind. So these seem to be a lot more in the flow of one another. <sighs> Starting to feel better, okay? <sighs> Someone wants to tell you something. Feels female, like feminine. This is starting to make me feel agitated for some reason. It seems like a loving message to me. That it, it kind of overwhelms me with this, this sense of agitated, um, like a discomfort about it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I'm kind of like, help me. <laughs> help me, universe. <laughs> Because it's getting shaky. Oh my gosh. Why would it be getting shaky again? I, this could be trauma level. Trauma level learning about self-expression. And trauma level learning about being loved for your words. Is it not about the judgment? Because it's it's like, we already talked about that, but let's take the word judgment out and, and instead let's talk about a new version of this, which is love for you. So let's say you, you mentioned your memories, you, you were kind of taught that your voice didn't matter. So if you learned that, or that was what was decided was the truth, what what is love telling you about yourself? Shut up. And I'll love you more for being quiet. It's, it's just a thought. Think about that, okay? So what were you learning about love when you were learning that your voice didn't matter? That's pretty hardcore. And that's why I'm starting to feel a bit of anxiety rising again. Like, I can't... I feel like I am struggling to breathe. And all we have is this... It feels like a very kind sweet female visitor. It's getting me thinking about that that hood again. Seems like it's part of a cape. It's really pretty. It's got a masculine energy to it. It feels kind of elvish or fantasy, you know? I can't, I cannot get it out of my head how pretty the purple is. You know, when it comes to energy, and looking at colors in the energy world, you're going to see a color that's purple that is just absolutely like the most beautiful purple you've ever seen. And then you're going to see pretty much the same color purple and it's like the grossest, ugliest purple in the whole universe. It just depends on what the vibration is that it's emanating. It's really good vi energy, okay? <laughs> so you've got like a representation of your, your faceless self hole here, okay? <laughs> um, beautiful, beautiful, uh, you know cape looking item so i'm gonna be quiet i just wanna i i might have to no they tell me not to okay because i was like oh, maybe i need to disconnect from your energy and just do this from the outside but they no i'm supposed to remain with your energy and just navigate it feels like anxiety i'm just like oh this is hard man <laughs> okay i can do this i'm just gonna help you with the anxiety of a loving visitor Okay, because it's going to get weird. Because you don't know how to put yourself together in order to... In a way, be yourself and be receptive to an exchange that is loving towards the value of yourself. Man, that's, that says a lot right there. I just, okay, you and I, we can do this, okay? I feel like giving up. You must feel like giving up sometimes. <sighs> I feel like it. I feel like, no, we can't do this. We're, we can't do it. <laughs> no, we can do it, okay? Because I have to be you in order to help you. And huh, it's, it's a lot that you have to work through. It's a lot. No, you don't need to be anybody, anything, anyone, any version of a voice. You don't have to have the right manners or the right 
stance, right body language, the right look on your face. You don't have to have all these right details. Because whoever this is, female energy, just wants to come and share love with you. A loving message. It's like you have to... There's something about body language. The language of... Um, this seems like all different types of language that we don't think are language. Like how you do your hair. Um, whether you smile or have a straight face. Um, how do I hold my hands like this? Um, like this? Uh, should I, uh, you know, look and act like I don't see? Um, you know, it's like you're trying to figure out how to the mechanics of your body, body language. And it's not like stop doing that. Stop doing that. Easier said than done. But that message has to be shared. Because you got to let whoever this is, um, they love you for who you are. So that means they love you for however you stand. Choose to stand for them even. Um, okay. Can we please now find out who this is? Do you see all the like wheels that have to turn in all the different directions that ha we have to go in just to prepare for a conversation with this unknown visitor? that loves you. So that's why I'm saying there's got to be some trauma level impact here from what has taught you about the value of your voice, which is then the value of yourself and the, your, your gift of language, your soul's voice even. <sighs> um, I want to just say she's fairy like. I see blue hair. It seems almost like made out of clay again. Something about clay, Play-Doh. But this is like clay, it, almost like it was perfectly sculpted onto her head. Almost like her whole body's made out of clay. Even her wings and everything. Like she's an art, piece of art. molded and shaped herself together for you. She says you do that. You mold and shape yourself together for people. Oh man, that makes me sad. <sighs> but she says it, it's not a sad thing. It's, it's a representation of caring, okay? So you... You decide the right mold and shape in order to care enough to be that mold and shape that you've decided is the best for this exchange, okay? So you're going to wear this hat with this person and then this hat with this person. So it's like you mold and shape yourself to be appropriate depending on how you determine the best exchange is going to be. And I, I was going to say, man, that's it, it's a concept of control, but she says no concept of love she says that you would take the time to try to interpret who you were speaking to and to wear the right hat for the conversation so that your voice would matter so your self-expression would matter dang <sighs> there's some incredible energy movement again i just want to highlight Throat front and back, so the whole neck area, okay? And third eye, crown chakra, so like, but the whole head. Like, my head is buzzing like crazy. My throat, my neck. I feel like there's impact in lower chakras, but this is where it's like, wow, um, really vibrationally impacted here. What else does she want to say? Okay. The next side of the message, she molded and shaped herself into this form for you. Do you like what she molded and shaped herself into being for you? You, you don't want her to do that. You say, I can't even see what you actually look like because you're covered in clay. 
She said, well, I decided that maybe you would prefer me made out of clay than made out of my natural form. And you get this thought like, well, why in the world would I prefer you made out of clay? And that's the point. She says that when you mold and shape yourself, it is an act of love in order to find a way to ensure when you speak up, you'll be heard. But all you're doing is what she's doing. You're molding and shaping yourself in a way that you think is going to be better, but it, it actually takes away from you just being you. But that's a whole point though too, because language is really complex. So much more goes on with language than we ever think, you know? How you decided that you are, or like when she says, who are you? Like just this reference of who you, who are you? Language decides it or love decides it how you told yourself who you are, even the language you use to describe yourself to me. Is that the truth? And sometimes we use language to put ourselves down and that's the truth, you know? And so we start molding and shaping ourselves into a, a miserable wretch of a person because the truth is, is a miserable, wretched life or whatever. But we never really got to know ourself. And instead of molding and shaping ourselves, let's say, miserable wretch or whatever, we get to know ourselves and mold and shape ourselves into someone courageous because we're ready to face a fear now. So it's not as though you have to know the answer in a simple sentence, but it is time to face a fear of sorts. And it's not necessarily going to come with an answer. Like the question of why is it like that? Because everything is the answer. You're living the perfect life right now because of what you've been through and what you're still going through. You need this blessing of a life to be so complicated so you can be a blessing to yourself, the world, and your soul in all time and space. So we see this is this hardship is unfair, or maybe some of us do. That's why we ask why. But the truth is it's a blessing, you know? You you remove the cape, actually. You're you have many faces. You have many, many faces. Oh. This is an important clue. If you have many faces, that means you have many words from many different forms of self-expression. So let's say, she kind of giggles, a fairy does, because she kind of says everybody does though. Because you're gonna have your, your intense, strong-willed um, self-expression. You're gonna have your quieter, withdrawn. You know, you're gonna have your wiser, your um, more teenage, uh, <laughs> I don't know, um, what, what's the word? Rebel. <laughs> it's like, uh, so to remember that your many faces have many voices so that your voice can change, it can fluctuate. And that when you speak, you speak the intelligence that you're choosing to express at this time are the perfect words already. So this is what I'm to share with you. Wow, I feel still like we're just skimming the surface, but there's a lot of incredible energy work here for you. I really am <laughs> so honored to get to navigate all this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, for those watching, if I can help you with anything you got going on there, I share energy healing, psychic wisdom. I will help you. you and book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right. Have a great day, everybody.